everyone and welcome back to Next Stitch Designs. In today's video, I am going to show you how to crochet this beautiful and super unique neck warmer. today's tutorial I will be using this Aran yarn and I used one and a half balls of this yarn and each ball got 200 grams so you will need about 300 grams for your neck warmer and is and this balls got 340 meters but of course you can use any Aran yarn you like or prefer also, I will be using 5 millimeters hook. You will need a yarn needle, a pair of scissors, a tape measure, and you will also need three buttons. First, we are going to start with the slip knot. Hold your yarn and like so, wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross. Go under this first one, on top of the second one, pull it down and twist your hook. And this is your slip knot. Now we are going to chain 21. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and so on until you have 21. And this neck warmer, it's a universal size. So I have 21 chains. And I am going to warp my first single crochet into this second chain from the hook. So we are not counting this one. We will work into this one here. Single crochet. Insert like so. Yarn over. Bring it up. Two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through. Into the next chain. Into the next. And so on all the way across until you have only last chain left and then I show you what to do next. So I have last chain left here and I'm going to place my last single crochet like so, chain one and turn your work. For row two, we will be working single crochet, but only into the back loop. Into these loops right here, back loops. So my first single crochet will be into this stitch right here, because we are not counting this one as it is our chain one. So insert under the back loop only, yarn over, bring it up two loops on your hook and finish your single crochet. And that's how we are going to work all the way across. Single crochet, back loop only. So place your single crochet in every stitch until you have only last two stitches left and then I show you what to do next. So I have only last two stitches left as you can see and I'm going to do one single crochet back loop only right here and into this last stitch I like to go under the both loops as normal single crochet but if you go under the one loop back loop that's fine as well but this way once you go under the both loops in your last stitch it will be much stronger chain one and turn your work and again for row three you will be placing single crochet back loop only again and so on so that's how we are going to work 
on our ribbing for our neck warmer every time you come to your last stitch you will place your last single crochet under the both loops but you will work single crochet all the way across only into those back loops so last one i will go under both like this chain one and turn your work and that's how you are going to work on your ribbing until you have 72 rows and the 72 rows will be for all the sizes as this neck warmer is universal size continue working single crochet back loop only until you have 72 rows once you have your ribbing prepared you should have 72 rows and if you don't know how to count it it's super easy i count it like this imagine this is like a little roof so it means you have two rows so two four six eight ten and so on so you need to have 72 for your ribbing so this is my last row here and i am going to chain one now we will be working on top of these rows and i like to place two single crochet on top of these rows so this so this is like a little roof and on top of that roof we will be placing two single crochet each so this chain one is not counting as our first stitch so into this very first one as you can see it goes like this it goes like this we will place two single crochet so place one single crochet and one more into the same place and again as you can see it goes like this so the gap is right here place two single crochet one and two into the next one as you can clearly see the gap place two single crochet one and two into the next one here one and two and it's looking really nice this way so continue placing two single crochet on top of these two rows so here 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 and so on all the way across so i have last two rows here as you can see and i am going to place my last two single crochet on top like so and now i'm going to chain three one two and three and turn my work like so next we are going to work slip stitch into this stitch here i'm not sure if you can see so we are not working into the same place where is your chain of three coming from but we are going to slip stitch into this one right here so we chain three and my next slip stitch will be right here so insert your hook yarn over bring it up and pull through the loop you had on your hook chain three one two and three and you are going to slip stitch into the next so insert and pull through and that's how we are going to work all the way across you will chain three and into the next stitch you will place your slip stitch like so again chain three 
and into the next stage you will place your slip stitch chain three and so on so you will have loops like this so you will work like so all the way across chain three and into the next stitch you will slip stitch chain three into the next stitch you will slip stitch and so on continue all the way across and i am at the end and i have just chain three and i'm going to place my last slip stitch right here chain three and turn your work and we should have little loops in our row one tiny loops like this i know it looks like we got a lot <laughs> but that's absolutely the way it should be so for row two v chain three and now we will be placing slip stitches into those tiny loops all the way across so chain three find your first loop this is my first loop right here insert your hook yarn over and do your slip stitch chain three and find your next loop place your slip stitch chain three find your next loop place your slip stitch and so on that's how you are going to work all the way across chain three find your next loop place your slip stitch so work like this placing slip stitches in all these loops all the way across and at the end i show you what to do next and i am at the end of this row two and i have only last loop left here and you will do exactly the same you will do your last slip stitch like so chain three and turn your work for row three and that's how you are going to repeat this pattern so you chain three and again you will play slip stitch in every loop chain three play slip stitch into the next loop chain three place slip stitch into the next loop chain three and so on and as you can see this pattern is looking amazing already you will work like this i have just finished and in measurements i have from the ribbing down i have about eight and a half inch or 21 and a half centimeters but you can go as i said you can go longer or you can go shorter it's up to you and depends on the yarn you're using if you are using thinner yarn of course you may need more rows if you are using thicker yarn then you may need less rows so once you have as many rows as you need i have done my last slip stitch here and chain one and now i'm ready to fasten off a little bit longer so you can hide it later on next we are going to create the loops on one side for the buttons and as you can see this is our starting chain so we're gonna leave this one just like this and we will create the loops on this side here where you have those proper stitches and you should have 20 stitches next you will prepare your stitch markers 
and you will space your stitch markers like me. So you should have 20 stitches. As you can see, this is my first one here. So into the second one, you will place a stitch marker. Then you will have one, two between, and then you will place a stitch marker. Then you will have one, two, three between, you will place a stitch marker. One, two between, and you will place a stitch marker. And then you will have one, two, three, four, and you will place stitch marker into this fifth one. And you will have one, two between, and you will place a stitch marker into the last one. Next, you are going to bring your yarn and you will find your first stitch here. You will start into this first stitch here, insert your hook, bring your yarn and you can create a knot and leave this yarn and longer so you can hide it later on. Insert your hook yarn over and chain one like this. Now, where is your stitch marker? You will place your first single crochet. Just take your stitch marker out. And replace it like this. And now we have two stitches between, so we will chain two, one and two. And where is your next stitch marker? You will place single crochet. And you will replace your stitch marker. And now you have one, two, three stitches here. So we will place single crochet. So one, two, and three. And also you will place single crochet where is your stitch marker. So take your stitch marker out, place your single crochet and replace it. like this. Now you have two stitches between, so you will chain two, one and two. Skip these two and you will place single crochet where is your next stitch marker. So take this stitch marker out and place single crochet like this. Replace your stitch marker. Now you have one, two, three, four single crochet between. So you will place four single crochet. One, two, three, and four. Where is your stitch marker? You will place single crochet. Replace your stitch marker. And you have two stitches between, so you will chain two, one and two. You will skip these two. And where is your last stitch marker? You will place your last single crochet. Like this. And place your stitch marker. And we created these loops for our buttons. Now chain one and turn your work. Like so. Now where is your stitch marker? You will place single crochet. like this and where we chain two you will place 
two single crochet into this space. So we'll place one, two, where is your next stitch marker? You will place single crochet like so. And now you have this single crochet here, so you should have one, two, three, four. So place four single crochet one, two, three, and four and you have your next stitch marker here so you will get it out and you will place your single crochet here where was your stitch marker and then you will have this loop where you skip two stitches and you will place two single crochet so one and two then you have this next stitch marker and you will place single crochet there then you have one two three single crochet here in those stitches like so actually you have four here then you have this stitch marker right here so you will place one single crochet here and again where was your loop and those two stitches you will place two single crochet into the space one two you can also place three and where is your last stitch marker you will place your last single crochet like this and you will end up with slip stitch into this very first space like this chain one and fasten off like so and you can hide these ends right here with your yarn needle And these are our loops for the buttons. Of course, if you want, you can space them the way you like. If you want more buttons, of course, you can see these are our loops prepared for the buttons. And we are going to sew the buttons on this side here. And I have only three buttons, but if you want, you can of course place the buttons all the way down and on this part you don't really have to create the loops because you already have loops with these stitches right here so not to worry about this side at all all you have to do just place buttons on decide so it's up to you but for me i decided to go only with the three buttons on top here so i needed to create these loops so for the last part all we have to do just to place the buttons and i have these three buttons so i will mark it like this just and i will place my button somewhere on top of these two last rows here so take your neck warmer and place your buttons as i have two squares and one triangle i will place the triangle in the middle and two squares like this so you need to position them in the way you have your loops if it's easier to do it this way so you can see better so my one will be one here one here and one here as you can see they are matching 
my button holes. And also I will be using this yarn needle and it will go through these holes very nicely. But some buttons got smaller holes. So if you want, you don't need to use the yarn. You can use just matching thread and thin needle. I am going to sew one button. Do this first one here. Let's just make sure it's in the right position. Double check. So I will place it somewhere here. So prepare your yarn needle and your yarn. And I will go from the bottom like this. And like this. And leave a longer yarn end. Go back. And this yarn is really strong. So it's enough if you just go once. And make a knot like this one or two and this is it oh, of course you can sew it the way you like or prefer and all you have to do just take your yarn needle and hide these ends inside so i'm going to do two more <music> Now you can check it and close your neck warmer. And it's looking amazing. I love it. <laughs> For the last part, we will be placing the long tassels in every single loop around. Tassels in all these loops all the way around like this. So it depends on you. Now you need to decide how long you want your tassels to be. So, for example, if you want this length, which is about 12 inch, you will have to double it. So, simply do like so. Okay, so this will be my one tassel. And to place it, you will simply go like this. So this is my first loop. Now to place your tassel, of course, you will need to hide all your ends. And I will start in this first loop. Insert your hook like this, place the tassel while it's like folded in half, place it on your hook and bring it through. Now you will have this loop and bring these two ends through like this. Okay, and this is your first tassel. Now you can make them shorter, you can make them longer. It's up to you. Just remember the length you want, you will have to double it because then we will need to fold this tassel in half. Now for each of these loops, you can place two in each loop you can place three in each loop all the way around. It's up to you. I will place two in each loop all the way around like I just showed you. And then you will place it in every loop like so. And once you got it, I see you very soon. Once you're done and once I'm done, I will show you the final result. And remember the length of your tassel and simply double it.
you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did, don't forget to like it, share it, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Unique Stitch Designs. Thank you very much for watching.